First of all, like three days ago it was snowing. Now the sun is shining and it's almost 80 degrees. Like this is, if there's ever baseball weather, I've got to imagine it's this. Oh yeah, this is it. Pepperdine's gonna think they're at home. <laughs> this, is, this is Malibu weather right here. Yeah, so, so are you saying we might want to make it a little <laughs> colder so that they don't feel yeah. so much at home? I don't mind it when it's 30 degrees when we have those <laughs> Southern California teams coming in. We'll, we'll get to the waves coming up in, in a second, but you guys now coming off uh, another win last night over, over UVU. It's now eight out of your last nine games, and I know we've talked uh, about kind of what's gone into that, but I've heard you say a couple of different times that, you know, when we're playing our best, it's pitching and catching and getting good at bats. I think sometimes we think this has to be this master plan, but it yep. really does come down to something that simple, doesn't it? Well, I think in baseball, with playing 55, 56 games, it's it's consistency, you know, just being even keel throughout the season. and. And just every day you come out, you know how you're going to play, and that's what we've been doing. And I've always, you know, I, early in the season, I said this is a team that could rattle off a 15 and five or a 10 and four record, and we've done that. Um, we, we really firmly believe we could do that. And all of a sudden, pitchers are starting to gain some confidence, um, hitters are starting to relax a little bit. And besides the Oregon game, we've played catch pretty much every game all, all year long. When you look up and down the lineup, as you mentioned, guys are really starting to, to zero in at, at the plate, and one of the guys that you know, it's done really good for you in, in some spot starts and things is is DC. Had another three run home run yeah. uh, last night. Where's his progress right now, do you think? Uh, he's making tremendous pro progress. Off the field, he's working hard. Um, he can work harder, he knows that. Um, there's just some things in his swing that uh, could make him a, such a complete hitter if he'll just iron those things out. But the one thing he has is tools. You know, that's what uh, Major League Scouts like about him. He can throw. I mean, he's, you've seen him throw during games. You've seen his power. Um, he, he hit one off the pitcher last night, so he's he, you know he's a he can hit the ball to all fields, and he, he just he just needs to not play like a freshman, and he's starting to do that um, day in day out. And again, it's, it's kind of back to the consistency thing. Once you know what you're going to get every single day, and and once he starts putting together better left uh, at bats against left-handers, last night hit, hit that left-hander right back up the middle. Um, you know he'll probably get more playing time. From a defensive perspective, for the overall team. Where do you think the defense is right now? Oh, I, I love us defensively. I mean, obviously we're, we're missing Brock right now. Um, you know, Chance may have to DH this week. We're not really sure about that with nursing that that hamstring. But it doesn't really matter. We put Noah in. We probably gain a little bit um, defensively at second base. And we put Brennan and Brennan Anderson in left field. Um, we we probably gain a little bit right now. But Bronson, we saw him last night throw a guy out of home. Um, so no matter, it seems like no matter who we put where. And all fall, we've been working guys in those different positions. So it's not like all of a sudden uh, we have an injury and we have to stick Bronson out there and he's never been out there. We, we kind of, you know, you, you try as a coach to foresee and, and um, you know, what's going to happen a little bit. And we saw we're a little bit light in the outfield. What if Brock goes down, Bronson's going to have to go out there or Brennan. And um, unfortunately, Brock, Brock had that injury, but Bronson stepped in there and has done a great job for us. Pepperdine coming in, as, as we mentioned at the beginning, uh, a game over 500 overall and a game over 500 in the conference, but I believe they, they're coming in having won four or five. What kind of team will we see Thursday, Friday, and Saturday? Well, Pepperdine's always good. We'll see a quality team. They, they, have, uh, they have good starting pitching. They have guys out of the pen, power arms out of the pen. Uh, it's going to be a real battle for us. Uh, it's it's going to be similar to Santa Barbara, to a, a Connecticut. I mean, all the, all the good teams we play, it's going to be similar. We're going to have to play our best baseball to win. Thursday's pitcher, Wilson, he's the... He's the guy that had the 15 strikeouts in the in the yeah. tournament, right? Do, is, do you sense any added motivation for Thursday from the players to kind of get him back for that a little? Not get him back, but you yeah. know what I mean. You know, not really. Um, that's that, that's a little more football mentality. But I think maybe in the back of their minds they're thinking, hey, we got to get him. But it, it's not something we talk about. It's something really what we talk about. Hey, we've got a great challenge tomorrow. Um, let's go see if we can meet that challenge. Well, from a from a matchup perspective, what matchups do you like? Well, as far as against Wilson, I mean, having Chauncey swing it, I, I really like that. I mean, um, I like playing here. I mean, that's that's going to be a, a great advantage to us because usually curveballs don't break as much at altitude, and, and that's he's got a really good curveball. And we've heard his velo's down, his velocity's down just a little bit this year, so that's going to play into our hand just a little bit. I mean, last year he was 90-93 with a great changeup and a great curveball, and we might have seen him at his best right there. He was a closer last year and just happened to start last two games of the season. So... With those added innings on him, his velocity's gone down a little bit, and so hopefully we can take advantage of that. Uh, from the starting pitching perspective, you know, you and I talked just a couple of days ago about the performance 
uh, at Pacific and how it was not only one of the best this season from the starters, but one of the best in a while. Um, what are you looking to get from your guys this week from a pitching perspective? Just be, be aggressive in the zone. Um, you know, just compete, challenge hitters, let our defense work for us, and really, no more than that. It sounds simple, but that's we don't we don't need no hitters. It'd be nice, uh, but but we just need uh, to eliminate walks, eliminate hit batters, eliminate the extra 90s to the other team, and just compete in the zone and let our defensive work. Thanks, coach. Thanks.